Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Whatever time it is for you, I'm Cyclone. It's time for more Let's Play Train Simulator Classic. Here it is, time for the hardest scenario of the trio. Probably the same difficulty as Summer of Hell in the original uh, route, but the only difference with Summer of Hell is we just took a train service from New York Penn during a very apparently crazy timetable, which could have been a lot crazier, and if not for the uh, problems with the uh, route uh inconsistencies but let's go ahead and see what three man weave does this actually seems like it would be harder than the summer of hell one so to speak because we're taking roast about 99 whatever that is but it's an m3 from hillside yard to vd yard now i'm not sure offhand where vd yard is so we're going to learn something here and we're going to be swapping out some broken cars on a wet summer's weekend day oh boy what's going on here I'm going to stop yammering too much here. Let's just get right in the scenario and we'll see what's going on. Good afternoon, engineer. We've gotten reports of a failed set of M3 cars at VD Yard. We have been tasked with heading there to swap around some of these cars to form a working six-car train. Please note that there is currently single track running in use between East New York and Brook 2, which I, stand, I think stands for Brooklyn, and that active services have priority over us. Alrighty, let's go. Let's close the box. You may notice I don't have the uh, white light here, by the way. The reason for that is because I actually hit the unpause button. You can see it actually puts things in operation, then you can pause it again. So you can do that when the box comes up. I decided I didn't want the white light as we read that. So uh, let's go ahead and close this. And the game resumes. You see those other boxes disappear. And off we go. And we'll turn the train on. We're going to bring the brakes up to a coast setting. Let's put the reverser into neutral. Not key out forwards, thank you. And on we go. And wipers are on. By the way, a fun fact with these wipers that I've been learning when you stop the wiper, it stops right in the middle of the screen if you tell it to, just like that. So, what you want to do when you turn the wipers off is park them right over there. Way out of the way, you have a nice clear screen to see whatever you need to see. We need them though, so we're going to turn it on. So proceeding at 10.2 miles per hour as we depart Hillside, line four, heading for VD Yard. We're gonna stop at the VD Yard lead. Let's review our tasks as we're in this slow section with hardly any activity. We're gonna stop at VD Yard lead. We're gonna move on to the VD Yard switching lead. We're gonna go to track seven. We're gonna drop off cars that are currently on our back at track seven we're gonna head back to the switching lead we're gonna head to track two we're gonna drop off two more cars we're gonna go back to the switching lead we're gonna drop back to track number five we're gonna couple four cars to the back of our train we're gonna head back to track five uh i guess we're gonna stop at track five after we couple we're gonna drop off two of those cars again at track five so we're taking two of the cars that i guess are working the two at the back are not apparently from the sounds of it. So we're gonna take the two cars that are working. We're gonna go back to the switching lead. We're gonna to head to track seven to the second set of cars we uh, picked up. We're gonna couple, or that we dropped off. We're gonna couple them to the back of these two cars. We're then gonna stop at track seven as we couple those cars. We're gonna drop off all four at track seven. We're gonna head back to the switching lead. We're gonna couple two cars back to the back of the train again and back at track three we're going to stop at the switching lead one more time we're going to head back to uh the two cars that are now at track two and then we're going to stop at the switching lead we're going to back we're going to go to the uh start of the east lead and we're going to call it a day are you confused yet i am basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking the cars we're going to i guess we're coupling some broken cars together we're going to couple the working cars together with our engine and that's basically how we're going to leave the things we're switching the cars around. It's like we're going to play the old switcheroo, as a certain person would say. And I didn't check my switches, but I think it auto set for us. Something you should be checking as you uh, leave here is the switch to make sure you're good to head out on the track. But the good news with the LIRR is I think the switch is auto set for you if you fail to check them. And I think I failed to check one that time. So check your switches when you leave. There might be a switch you need to set. So 
So the signal we're going to have is a slow clear all the way here. We're now safe to exceed to extend to 15 miles per hour. I don't know if I want to do that yet. I mean, we're as long as we stay well under the speed limit, we're going to get a thousand points, right? That's how this works. Stay under your speed limit, you're good for your score. I think that's how it works. So why should we go so high? Well, we're going to go a little bit. Let's let's at least go to 15. It's nice to at least go to 15. Then we get some speed out of this, right? 10 is boring. 15 is also boring. But 14? That's exciting, ladies and gentlemen. 14 miles per hour. What are you beeping at me for? I'm going to show you what it's beeping for, actually. Let's turn the uh, this off. You see how we have the uh, code set for 30? The speed is now set for 30. That's what the beep was for. And we're going 14. That's what we see here. The speed limit is now 80. We're coded for 30, but we're still going 14. The train's about to go by. Notice the triple beep. The speed went down to 40. That is train 8053 to Penn Station, stopping at Jamaica. So we were coded down. We Our speed limit dropped in half. Doesn't affect us. We never were anywhere near that. But uh, we uh, are coded nonetheless for a 30 all the same because we're going to still have a 30 up ahead. You'll see momentarily. We now have an 80, which is now our speed limit once again because this line's speed limit is 80. We're not, a, we're not on a junction at this point. But now we're going to enter another junction. We're going to take another 40 heading over to the track to the right. That's what's going to happen next. Except it hasn't happened yet. I guess it doesn't have to happen. We're going, we're code for 80 again, but now we're code for 30. There's our triple beep again. This is the junction track we were, that I was waiting for. And as we come off of this, we're going to be allowed to go 80 again. There it is. So let's bring this back up and you can see we're allowed to go 20 up ahead. So I'm going to bring the speed up to 20. And actually, you know what? That might not be an accurate assessment because we're going to have to get down to 15 now that I think about it for the purpose of the um, of Jamaica. So I'm not even going to be able to go up to 20 then either. I might as well just leave it at 15. Discussion over. We're just leaving it at 15. So in reality, we could have gone 30 for a little while there, and we probably should have. In fact, this will look a lot better if you do go 30 for a while there. But we don't have a timetable, so yeah, do whatever you want to do. Do whatever you want to do. We have to respond to that beep. We're down to A15. Notice we got a beep for the speed limit. We got a beep for being coded down to 15 miles per hour on the actual coding. So the track is okay for going 20. We're only allowed to go 15. What's the point of setting the track for a 20, huh? Oh, well. I dropped the speed back down to 15.1 to make sure we didn't uh, accidentally rush in the speed limit here, which I am prone to do. May happen anyway if I'm not noticing. So 15.1 is now our speed. So we're going to be arriving at Jamaica. Normally all trains stop here, but we are not all trains. So we won't be stopping here. So 
We're now down to 14.9, which is perfectly fine. Where is this train that was ahead of us? Let's find out where he is. There he is. His doors are open. He's doing his passenger stop. We're going by at 15 frames per second because Jamaica. You can tell it's slower in this area. You can just tell. There's no avoiding it. You just know. His doors are closing. His doors are closed. He is leaving. We're going to be leaving alongside this train, ladies and gentlemen. This may not be good. We have a slow clear. This isn't good. Okay, I'm going to keep the speed going. Let's just look at this from above, shall we? Let's just see if this works. It looks like we're going to clip this guy. Ooh, we're scraping the paint, ladies and gentlemen. We are scraping the paint. Oh, you can just hear that paint coming off. Wow. Wow. You can just hear the paint coming off. Wowie. Wowie. Yeah, we're going through the train a little bit here. We are barely clipping it. That paint is coming off. But we're good to go, so let's speed up. At this point, you can almost hear the paint coming off. Yep, all fine. All fine. Well, that happened. We're now apparently allowed to go 20 again. I'm not pressing my luck at this point. We're now apparently allowed to go 45. I'm going to press my luck at this point. Well, so much for pressing my luck, ladies and gentlemen. We're now limited to 15 again. Fantastic. 40 straight down to 15. Let's try to avoid having a beep here on that. Or ran at 15 suddenly telling me I'm speeding, which is never fun. Welcome to Bolin's Landing, ladies and gentlemen. This is a staff stop point. That's why you see stairs going down on the tracks there. Why not? There's no other way to get there. It's a staff stop point. Oh, we can go 45 now. I thought I was about to speed. So we can go faster now. Apparently 70 is now our speed limit, so let's, um, 
I'm not convinced we're going to be able to maintain that here. I'll go up a little bit, though. So we've only gone about three miles, if even that. Oh, the 14 we're going today. And it's already been an eventful three miles. So uh, let's see what else we have coming up. I'm gonna say at 45, because I'm pretty confident we're not gonna be able to maintain this speed all the way. I'm very confident about that. So we're just gonna stay at 45. We've been told a single line running up ahead. We're gonna be there in about four minutes anyway at this point three or four minutes to East New York. Let's just um, keep an eye on that fact that yes, it is going to be possibly slow up ahead. It's only gonna take us a minute longer than it might otherwise, so it's not too bad. I have no basis behind my math except for the fact that going 45 means it'll take me four minutes to go three miles. And at 70, it will take us uh, three minutes and change to go three miles. Two minutes and change, I should say, to go three miles. So we're going to take a little bit longer here, but it's going to be uh, less having to worry about slowing down. We'll get to see a coding change as it happens, and we'll know if we're, when we're going to be expected to slow down. So right now we are coded for 70. You can see the um, 70 behind where it says 0% on the brakes. That's where the 70 is located, if you look carefully. Or if you don't look carefully. You know, you don't have to be careful about it. That's up to you. I am tempted to punch my way up to 50, and I could do that and be completely legal within my means to do that. But um, I just don't feel like it. Yeah, that'll work. I just don't feel like it. So we're now in pretty much tunnel territory for most of this route, including an Atlantic Terminal. Though I think Atlantic Terminal, you actually can look outside in places. Especially on the track itself, the station platform, I should say, but maybe not the yard. The yard might not be possible. Increase speed just a wee bit more here again. And there we go. We've had a coding change. So you see what happened? We got coded down to a 40. That means we're now expecting a 30 at the next signal because there is unexpectedly traffic in front of us or the line is closed and we have a red signal ahead. There's a very good chance that's a red signal. So I'm gonna drop it down to a 30 right now. We're gonna watch for the next coding change up ahead. So as we pass the next uh, track point, we're gonna probably, we might even get dropped straight to a 15, let's find out. 
We might get dropped straight to a 15. Watch the bottom of the screen. Yeah, we're at 15 now. We're down to a 15. Discussion over. You can't do that too fast, by the way, or you're going to continue to get the beeping. You're going to lose a few miles off your speed. You have to wait until you're about a mile down under your new limit. So in this case, we have to go down to 14, and I'm holding at 14. In fact, I know at this point we're going to have a red signal ahead because we would not be code 15 right now if there was not a red signal. We would, we have not been following another train. There would not be a train at the platform as long as we've been going. So I'm pretty sure at this point there is a red signal ahead. And uh, there is traffic ahead because we've been going under the speed limit and we're still getting a red signal. We're still getting code to 15. So I'm just cruising at 11 right now. Now, for those of you wondering about the M3, I actually think it's a great train. I've been enjoying driving this one. Um, it's it's easy to fault things like sounds and such, but if you hear the uh, brakes releasing every time you put them off, let me just do it quickly here because I have a chance. You hear that noise? That you just feel that. That you just have a feel from that. That um, the brakes are actually releasing, and you're getting the ability to keep going as you wish at that point. Our red signal should be coming up. I like the door closing noise too, the bells that you hear. Really, really nice. So we're going to be positive stop right up here. There's no emergency brake here. We're just getting stopped. That's all it is. Positive stop is now in effect. You can see I've now put the throttle in. I can move it wherever I want. It's not going to work. I can even put the train in reverse and it's not going to work. The only way I would be able to get any movement on the train at this point is literally to uh, shut it off turn it back on and try at this point to move again but notice as I do everything is reset so I can start moving forward and I'm like okay great I can inch forward a little bit but as soon as I do that pause it's not pause of stopping yet but as soon as we go far enough Notice is already trying to tell us, hey, we're going to stop you again because you're not listening to us. You're not listening to me. I'm going to stop you. And there it is. We can't move again. So you have no choice but to wait. And this is on the M7 as well. You have no choice but to wait for this red signal head to clear. When this red signal clears, your uh, positive stop is cleared as well. So let's uh, take a look outside and let's see uh, how the train looks from outside. Oh, well, that's not going to work, is it? The train looks like a road full of busy traffic, ladies and gentlemen. We're in the middle of the street right now, and um, this is awkward. This is really awkward. This is really, really awkward. We're in the middle of the street. Why are we in the middle of the street? Well, let's just be honest, ladies and gentlemen. We can't, well, we know where the edge of the map is. We can't find the train underground. That's the problem. If we continue along here, we're going to find more textures. Uh, more roads. That's more road. Uh, and that's all we have here. The train traffic is... That's another highway. Sorry. I have no idea where the track is right now. I'm going to be completely honest. I don't know where the track is. I don't have a clue. I don't have any clue where this track is right now. Because it's all underground. It's all underground. All we can do is sit here in the train and wait for the signal to clear. But if you want to explore New York, that's entirely your call. Feel free to explore New York as much as you want in this area within a two-mile radius. You're not going to be allowed any further than that. Maybe two kilometers. I don't know. But in any case, we're going to take a quick look at the map. Now that I'm thinking we can look at the map, let's do that. We can see the train is that we're waiting for is stopped at East New York Track 2. So we are going to see him in just a moment.
leaving our little holding spot here. We can now re-increase our speed as high as 60 miles per hour, entering a 60 mile per hour speed limit. As we get into the East New York area, we're going to be dropping to a 45 by the platform. So we've now entered the single line running area. Now it looks like we're going to be coded for a 60 through this area, even though it's going to be a 45 speed limit. So we'll need to keep this in mind. We want to make sure we don't quite go as high as the speed limit to make sure we don't accidentally force our so we don't accidentally force ourselves into a speeding situation by accident. I shouldn't say force, that's not the right word. Good enough, thank you. So here we are at East New York. Is this underground? Yep. I mean, it looks like it's acting like an underground, but it, it actually is above ground, technically. So it's set up that way so that you can get a look at the uh, station while you're stopped. You're not left in a situation where you're bored tearless while you're waiting for your train to uh, load. Uh, unfortunately, the rest of the area is not like that. The rest of the tunnels you have are actually tunnels. With that, we are underground now, but as we emerge from here, we're considered above ground again. There you go. We now emerge from the tunnel and we come up from above, from underground and uh, the road split up to allow us to come up. So now we're in the middle of the road. He just changed lanes, good for him. And uh, there goes a dump truck or a cement truck or something. So uh, yeah, we're, we're in New York. We are definitively in New York. I put some brakes on a little early here because I'm trying to avoid speeding. Uh, it is possible to find a downhill groove here that will cause you to speed a little bit. I know that 30 is our speed limit at No Strand Avenue, so I'm trying to watch my speed as I come in so I don't speed. I'm saying speed way too often. So right now we're losing speed very, very imperceptibly. We're getting coded down to a 40 now, I believe. Or is it a 30? No, it is a 40. So if, if we were going the speed limit at 45, we would have to drop our speed to 40 at this time. I'm kind of holding out at 30 here. There is a downhill as you go through No Strand Avenue and into the uh, next section where you get dropped. It looks like, well, maybe it might be back up to 45. I don't know. Just to be safe, I'm dropping my speed just a little bit further. We're going to keep a close eye on that. Keeping a close eye on that thing. Going to keep a very close 
appear on that number. As we go through No Strand Avenue Station, we're beeping at the 30, or we're being beeped at for the 30. So now we respond to the 30. We're now down to 27 and change. Fortunately, I have not had any suicidal people on my track during this particular run, but it does happen from time to time. Someone just walks and stands there. We're having an increase. Yep, there it is. Knew it was coming. Look at that gradient. That's a 2% gradient. We're basically going back underground. That's what it's doing. We're, we're being shoved back underground here at a 2% gradient. And it might be downhill the rest of the way. I don't remember. You can see Brook 2 up there, and you can see the uh, line does end, so I think we are being veered into the yard here. That's what it's trying to do to us, veering us into the yard where we need to go. VD yard switch point. Yep, there it is. Switch lead. That's the switching lead. We have to stop at the orange marker. Then we have to stop and uncouple something and stop at the next orange marker. That's basically what we're doing. So 45 is our limit. We're kind of lolling at that right now because we're going to drop to 30 at the next signal. Or at the next junction point, whichever it is. Then we're going to get dropped to a 15. And we're only half an hour in, ladies and gentlemen. We haven't even done any of our job yet. Notice the train did that itself. The train went down to 15 on its own. I think we're approaching the 5 speed limit as well, so we need to take it down even further. 5 is now going to be our speed limit very, very soon. You can't really tell, but I can see that there is a speed limit marker that has a mark on it where it's just yellow and there's nothing else. That usually means it's a one-digit number, so that means it is a 5. We're coming fairly close to that, so we need to honor that now. And that means this section coming up is going to be super, super annoying. So let's just see here. We're gonna, we are very, very close to VD Yard East. We know that. Shush. So this whole section is going to be a lot of brake application, brake release. We're going to be going between 4 and 5 a lot. 0.8% downhill gradient pushing us down into Atlantic Terminal Station. We're, of course, being limited to the yard. We're already getting our practice in on the 5, so we don't have anything else to think about here. We're getting practice. We're now under that 5. So we got a little bit of practice in on it already. Haven't done it for a while. And on that, we're going to pull over into the yard area right now. It is five from here onwards. There is no other option at this point. We must go no more than five miles per hour. The yard is at least outside. We can look around out here. That is nice. That is nice to see that we're going to be outside. I don't want 25% break. Come on. So we are back outside. I like that. We're going to stop at the yard lead. That's not speed. Thank you very much. Oh, this is a heavy downhill. Wow. 2.6%. Look at that speed go up and I don't even have the throttle on. We have to stop in this area, so we're going to pull up a little bit further, and then we're going to make our stop. Then we're going to figure out uh, if we're good to drop our cars off here. I don't think this is where we want to drop the cars off, though. Or is it?
we're going to stop with the engine at the front of the yard lead. Which means this is a good enough spot. We're going to go ahead and wrap the first scenario here as we stop the train. Let's look at the train. Make sure you tune in next time for the next part of this scenario, which is going to be part two, the shunting work. I'm Cyclone. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel. Have a wonderful day, evening, or night. I'll see you next time.